going to show you how to use multimeter like this to work any type of smartphone yes customer brought this phone to me about two hours ago and she said this phone is not on it so i'm going to use multimeter to test and know the faults of this phone right here with you guys so make sure you don't skip this video you don't wipe this video please make sure that you like comment and share and make sure you follow me please Follow me so that you'll be seeing all my videos. Please follow me. I have a lot of videos right here on this page. So make sure you follow me so that you'll be seeing all my videos. So without time wasted, let me start the video. So as you can see, this is ITEL 2160. So I'm going to test the phone right here live with you guys to see the problem of this phone. This phone is not owning. According to the owner, the person who brought this phone to me, she said this phone stopped owning. Uh, yesterday so she brought the phone to me today so i want to test and know the problem of this phone so right here i'm with my multimeter so i want to use my multimeter to test it right here so that you guys can see where the problem comes up so first of all so let me turn on the meter can you see that this meter is on now okay so the first thing that i'm going to test in this phone is the battery connector can you see so i'll first of all test the battery connector this is very very important please all engineers listen to me please this is very very important first of all test battery connector yes when once you test battery connector you will know whether current is still flowing inside the phone panel test battery connector in case that huge or capacitor is breached together or is damaged or something like that so make sure you test battery connector first so for you to test battery connector you need to Shift this thing here, right here, to this place that you are seeing that you sign of that. Let me carry the meter too. So can you see? Let me use this thing to show you guys. Can you see? Yes. Shift it to this point. Can you see where you see this sound icon, this diet point? Yes. Can you see? To so shift it to this point and give your meter. Mm -hmm. Let me show you now. So this is the positive proof of your meter, and this is the negative proof of your meter. So what you will do, you Hold this positive now. Let me show you. Hold this positive now. Connect to the ground. Can you see? Connect to the ground. Connect it to the ground. Then hold your negative like this. Connect it to the battery positive terminal. Can you see? The, the battery connector positive. Connect it here. Can you see? Now it's showing reading. This reading means this phone is still working. That current is still flowing inside the phone. Yes. Current is still flowing inside the phone. Can you see the reading? Then, can you see now? So if I if I connect the positive and the negative of this proof wire now together, it's, it's going to show red light. Yes, and shows you zero zero. Can you see? So this is direct connection. If to say that this phone read directly like this, this yes. If to say this phone read directly like this when I connected this way, can you see? Yes, that means that the phone is not good. That diode or capacitor is breached inside. But since it's not reading this way, it's reading this way. Can you see? So this means that current is still flowing inside the phone panel. Please, engineers, take note of this. I'm begging all the engineers, take note of this. So the next thing for you to test is for you to test the negative side. Please, test the negative side to see whether the negative is connected. Can you see? The negative is connected. Can you see? The negative is connected. Now, let's test the middle one. Here we go. So can you see? So this means that the neck, uh, the middle tab is still connected. Yes, can you see? The, the middle one is still connected. So nothing is wrong with power input. Yes, so that means the problem is from inside the phone. So we need to open the phone to check where the problem is coming from, whether it's from capacitor diode or any other thing. So let me open the phone now for me to show you. So right here, can you see? So the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over to this capacitor. Let me sh let me show you. Can you see this place? So so there is three capacitors here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to read the capacitor. Guys, if one of these capacitors breach together, this phone is not going to on. Yes, it has happened to me many many times. A lot of people brought their phone, and I noticed that this capacitor breach. And this capacitor stop the phone from owning. So guys, please, I'm begging you and engineers, make sure you check these capacitors. So what I will do is for me to test it to see whether the capacitor is still good or not. So for me to test it, I will connect this one to the ground. So here, 
Positive, always remember, positive to the ground. And here you go, this meter. Okay, here we go. Can you see? Can you see? So nothing is wrong with the capacitor. The capacitor is still functioning. Nothing is wrong with it. So the next thing that you have to check is for you to check this other capacitor too. Let me show you. Can you see? There is a capacitor here. So make sure you check this capacitor. If this capacitor is breached together, this phone will not on. So let me go ahead by testing it again. Let me test this one. Can you see? Nothing is wrong with the capacitor. Can you see? Still functioning. Nothing is wrong with the capacitor. Can you see? So make sure you test all these capacitors. It is very, very important you test it. Yes, test all these capacitors. So guys, can you see? Carry the screen like this. Then check if one of the legs of this screen is breached together. Make sure you use uh, your chemical to brush it, right? Brush it very, very well. Brush it very, very well. Do normal servicing. If you do normal servicing and finish and the phone is not still owning, so what you will do is for you to open the phone. Let me show you. So, so guys can you see now yes so what you will do now is for you to can you see place the positive proof of your meter here can you see place it here can you see place it here and go along with by testing capacitors here make sure you test capacitors here to, to see whether one of them is bridge right go along with by testing them hit the panel very very well if not working you change the CPU, the motherboard, I see, change it. So make sure that you follow all the instructions that I showed you in this video. So this is another way for you to use and test this phone, where the problem come from. So can you see, I'm with battery now. So let me plug the battery. Can you see? Yes, the battery is connected to the battery connector. Let me remove this thing. So can you see negative to normal negative, then positive, to positive and make sure you turn your meter to voltage can you see keep it at 20 can you see keep it at 20 voltage okay fine let me test there we go so this is the power key so can you see here we have 3.1 volts can you see so this means that the ic of this phone is still working and here can you see nothing read so this is negative that means it's working so the problem of this phone is from this contact so doors or something block this from contacting this so what i will do now for me to clean it let me clean it so here so let me connect it now let me place it and let me turn on the phone here we go hey <laughs> so guys can you see can you see guys can you see yes so I have finally restored this phone back to life. Can you see? Can you see? I have finally restored this phone back to life. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Yes, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. So thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.